hearing the music, doing the steps, and 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 before I knew it, I out of two thousand whatever, I was a fourteenth person to be in, in the job. So that said, from what I know back then, that was the last job where they gave dancers sack cards. You know? Because after that, all the other street movies started uh, move, coming in, Breaking and Breaking 2 and Electric, you know, and, and Streets, all of them. I don't know even know some of the names of them, but it, and uh, Canon Films came in, because it had to do with production. Canon Films came in and started hiring uh, dancers for 50 bucks a day, you know, and kids just wanted to be seen, which I think is still going on. You know, they will do anything to be seen because that's how they could put on their reel, you know. Um, and then there was also situations with commercials or videos where they paid you nothing, but they fed you, and as long as you got featured, you didn't have to get paid. So I couldn't do a lot of work. A few of us couldn't do a lot of work because that's back then when we started trying to create a union that is still going on, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, I just got an email the other day that finally they're meeting with so-and-so after an equity to unionize for dancers again. This is how long ago? This is from 1982, and it's still going on. And then the agents came in, which is Julie McDonald, you know, Teresa Taylor and those people, uh, MSA, I think it's called, and Bobby, I used to dance with Julie McDonald. We were in a dance company together, you know. Um, so I, it, it's hard, you know, because the, the kids really sometimes want to want to dance and they want to do their thing, and there's people that are taking advantage of the situation and only paying them, you know, 50 bucks. You know, I retired, the first time I retired was when I was blackballed by a company because they would hire me to come in and I got in to work for eight hours and I was getting a rate and then I had something to do the next day because it was another new job and I left. But the artist wasn't there yet so they got mad at me, so they fired me. And the artist didn't come in till three o'clock in the morning and those kids have been there since six o'clock in the morning, but they stayed there. And, and these are legit choreographers that knew about this but did nothing for it because they were also trying to get credit for their choreography. You know, unfortunately some of those choreographers became big and karma as it works and they're no longer kind of what they used to be, you know. But it's it's hard, you know, because I mean if you are if you're giving someone a job and they're happy to do it for 50 bucks, then there's someone else that has a union card that'll charge you $100 to do the job, and you as a choreographer making someone happy, giving them 50 bucks, or feeding them, then you, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. You know, and if you go sleep at night, then that's what you do, mm -hmm. you know? And to this day, it's still hard, you know? Until people stick to their guns, as far as the legitimacy of, of the work they wanna do, as artists, it's not gonna change. Because there's someone down the road that will do it for free. They'll do it for, you know, just to be featured, shaking their butt. <laughs> History of Stonewall and how this dance, because it was behavior, this is what's our voice. That's how we became dancers, you know. And then I gave history on what's going on with the suicide when I got this award for, you know, iconic whacking. At the same time that month, five kids around the United States killed themselves because of being gay. So I dedicated my award to my friends that are no longer with me and these kids that did, couldn't find the outlet, this voice of dance, you know, and, and nobody wanted to know about it. Then I put these two kids in, in the Middle East that got hung, that got killed because they were lovers. And we still can't, you know, we still can't get married as gay men. So if you want to learn the dance the way it really is, because it's for everybody, it is expression. You know what I mean? If you really want to learn it, really tr you have to get to know yourself and how you stand, because all of us go through adversity. You know what I mean? All of us have, I mean, you've been here all day. I bet you if I put you in a room as a teacher and go, all right, let me teach you this and let me give you this music, how do you feel about it? You won't give me the fucking dance of life. Because you would rage out. And that's what dancing is. You just have to know how to harness it, you know? Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Can you tell us um, about some of your no notable accomplishments and also um, talk about an accomplishment as a dancer, what the kids should be striving for, not just striving for just, just to be seen or just to be in this, you know, five seconds on TV and think that you're a star and think that you've made it because of that. Like, what is a real an accomplishment for a dancer? Like, what is an actual credit to put in a resume and a reel? 
based upon your own experience and your accomplishments? <sighs> I don't think they're gonna get it. It's not for them right now. No, you, you know what you know for. <laughs> oh my God. I just wrote something for Lisa the other day. You know, cause she's, I love her. She's like my stepdaughter. Um, for me, like, in, you know, inspiration, I'm with my horses and I see life and I see this and I see light bulbs and I see you guys being tired. I get inspired by the universe. You know, what's going on with, how long it took Obama to get elected, you know, how people are still being ridiculous about it, you know. Um, I think if you, if, 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 if dancers are able to capture, I was going to read you this, but this, it's, it's irrelevant to what I'm going to try to say. If they're able to capture a moment in their life that, that will kind of parallel Michael Jackson's entrance so at the Super Bowl. He did nothing. If you recall, for 15 minutes, come, 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 come. That was so powerful. If they could, if they could capture a moment like that in their dancing, and strive for that greatness by the simplicity of doing nothing. I think that's that's something to to experience, and what's going to happen when they do that at the end of the show? They're going to be in a corner, crying like little kids, shaking, not knowing what the hell just happened. You know, I'm watching. I watch shows all the time, and I watch So You Think and Dance, and I watch talent shows. And the thing that you will always know with someone within 30 seconds, you could tell if someone is really good. At the end. When they finish dancing or singing, they go like this. Like, where am I? That is what we should strive to do. Where you finish your performance and you, you're like, where, where, where am I? Where, what, what did I just do? Because your whole body goes to a whole different level.